Well, good morning. Uh, today is uh, much anticipated by some. It's our Palmyra um, reveal, I suppose. So, as you can see, I've got a few pots here. They've all finished. Apart from this one, that's got me biggest hopes, really. But you can see there's loads of these little uh, berries that I've saved for for uh, one of my viewers, so they'll be coming to you soon. So anyway, got a lot of weeding to do, but now the weather's changed. It's damp. I need to get it done before I put the plot to bed, so to speak. So I'm going to crack on, and uh, we'll see what we get out of these 30 litre pots. Just remember, this is all from my own compost made on the allotment from uh, rotted down vegetation and uh, bits and bobs. Right, crack up. Right, so here's the first pot. I'm not going to start with the one I've got most obs for. I'm just going to uh, build up to that a little bit, I think. But we'll see. Do a couple. So, uh, we're going here. Well, we've definitely got some potatoes. You can't fail with sarfo mirrors. So, uh, we we'll get this little bag and see what we've got. They're not very dry, because obviously, because they've been sat out here in all weathers just away here. We've had quite a bit of rain and we're going to get some more for the next few days. This is why need to get these done. I must say though, these are some smaller ones in here. And that's probably down to my rubbish watering this year. But plenty of usable sized potatoes. I don't think I'm gonna get a 25 pounder. Well I think they'd be over five pound hopefully. Don't they, Brendan? No, I've got loads of tiny ones. Not that I could have left them any longer, really. Need to get them though, because you don't want these going back in your soil. Because this year, this this is because this has just come out of my compost bin. This will just get tipped on my allotment. If I were using normal compost multi-purpose then I'd uh, probably use it again. Uh, Sarpo's planted on the 18th of April. So uh, homemade compost, bit of blood fish and bone, bit of grow more. watered when I got the chance and fed with a bit of comfrey tea so I think that's a lot after that one set the scales zero pound we tear it Zero. Turn it around. Six point four eight. So I weren't far off. So that's all right. Start off with the uh, six and a half pound. We'll go on to the next one. Right, pop two. Picked a bigger one this time. Hopefully, try and add a bit more excitement. See how we got. Oh, there's a few more in here by the by the looks of things. 
lot quicker if it were drier, but can't go for that. that. Some nice size ones though, some nice bases here. I can't, can't recommend these enough really. I mean, some, I've heard some people say they don't like the taste of them, but I, I, I like them, we like them. So, uh, brilliant for everything apart from mash, I think. So, I will carry on growing these, and you can't beat them for, I mean, what are we on now? 14th of November and one or two of them have still got green leaves on. No blight. If I'd have used multi-purpose compost, I think it'd have been a lot worse because uh, I think this stuff holds on to the moisture better. So that's pot two. Power these up, and I think probably about seven pound, eight pound. So we're on zero. Drop them on. Oh, it's a tenner. Ten pound. 45 10.45 so pleased with them they were in the middle the end one weren't so good so we'll I'll uh, get another pot and uh, carry on All right pot three Let's try his look in this one this feels like another good one hopefully another 10 pounder quite happy with £10, so uh, Lewis is going to open it bag this time. Oh, it's a cracker. No, it's not, it's a potato. Sorry. Right. Get these spuds in this bag. Yeah, strange shape that one, weren't it? Is that a seed potato or the seed potato is mushy? Yeah, the seed potato will be mushy. So that way it. I'm taking all the tops of that home and put it in my green bin. Looks heavy one that Lewis. Yes, it is. And what I'll do is, once these are all bagged up, they'll go home in a tray and dry out for a bit. And then once they're dry, then they get bagged up in uh, paper sacks. Just watch that, Louis, because you're ripping it. It's very heavy. How heavy do you think in pounds? About eight. Oh, I think it's a bit heavier than that. And look, it looks it. I think it's around the 10 mark again. So, can't grumble at well, that. Eight was only an estimate. For so, the amount of watering I've done in them this year. Sarpos. Just checking the label. So, I think that's it. Double check. And all this compost back on my land. Right, so time to weigh them. Put the potatoes on there, Louis. Yeah, similar to last time, I think. Eight or nine. Might even be lucky and get ten again. So, zero. That's heavy, that's 11. 11.29. 11 
Very good. Right, pot four. Right, this is pot four. For some reason, I didn't put as much compost in this, and it's rather light, so we're not expecting a lot. But we get some decent bakers, or in fact, we had a bit of slug damage on that one. That looks in bad shape. Yeah, so that's not good. Well, they have been in a long time, so oh, the slugs have had a field day. That yeah. Good. First time for everything. You don't usually get many slugs in the uh, do pots. That's quite big. Yeah. Okay, we'll weigh these. Don't think this is going to be very good. Oops. Not like that. Four point nine eight. So nearly five. Which is surprising me really, because I didn't think it'd be that good. Right, see you in pot five. 